four with the app created off to show off Sacramento. Yes, we are talking all things that is happening in Sacramento. I love taking app of the week on the road because I get a cup of coffee. All right, so I am with uh, two locals with me this morning. They just created an app. It is called In the Sack. In the Sack, as in Sacramento, people. So I want to introduce you. This is Eric and this is Jessica. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining me here for some coffee talk about this app. <laughs> so it's a lovely app, by the way. Let's talk a little bit about how it works. So In the Sack features cool places to check out in Sacramento where the locals go, mm -hmm. as well as events that are happening throughout the week. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and tell people and show people how it works. Super easy and it's all based on GPS, really? That's right, right. Okay. exactly. So the first part is Explore Sacramento, mm -hmm. and it features restaurants, places to get a drink, coffee, and also art in Sacramento that you might want to check out. Okay. So let's say I want to go get dinner somewhere. Okay. I would click on Farm to Fork, okay. and then Filter, all right. and now it shows me where I am, as well as all the cool restaurants near me that I might want to check out. Okay. So let's say I want to check out Mulvaney's. Okay. I'll click on that, and it pulls up a picture of the restaurant, a little piece of information about it, and also how to get there, and I can also ca call a cab. I love that. Here's what I love even more, is that you can add the filter like the art, so it'll bring in all the restaurants and the art locations as well. Exactly. So if I wanted to check out art in Sacramento, as well as maybe get a drink on mm -hmm. my way, then I'll filter that way, and I can see where I am, where the closest art murals are. These are the art murals. That's so cool. Those are those were just done. Yeah, they just finished. That's fantastic. As well as places to get a drink. So if I want to check out, for example, the mural at the Native American mm -hmm. Health Center, I click on that and it'll show me all about that mural. The mural and it also tells you about the artist and how to find more of his or her artwork. Fantastic. The other cool thing about it is you can find out about local events that are happening. So that's constantly changing. That's right. So we've partnered with SAC 365 mm -hmm. to feature all of the cool events that are happening in Sacramento. So if I want to find events, mm -hmm. let's say I want to check out some music. Yeah. Ken likes to go to check out music. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it'll show you where you are as well as music happening nearby. So uh -huh. if I click on this, it shows me, oh, look, Chuck Reagan and the Camaraderie oh, is playing okay. on September 12th. That's fantastic. And it's got the uh, link to the website, Sacramento 365. We partner with them as well. That is fantastic. And you know the best price, the best part of this, it is free 99. Free 99. That's the kind of yeah. that we like. <laughs> Favorite <laughs> <Totally free. laughs> Now, uh, uh, can people add to this? Uh, yeah, no, so they can send us some suggestions okay. and then we'll filter those things. We don't right. want it to be a free for all because right. who knows what people might put up right. there. You know, people like Cody get crazy. So, yes, yeah, so you can uh, <laughs> send them feedback um, because the key about this is that it's locals. Right, right. You want input from the locals, what people are doing. Right. So at the uh, Metro Edge Emerge Summit, we actually sent out a survey to all of the people who were in attendance, asking them, what places do you like to go yeah. to get a drink, to get food? And they voted. And these are the places that they featured. So this is where the locals like to go. That's fantastic. All right. So great app if you have friends or family visiting. Um, Eric, how long did it take you start to finish to make this live? The app took about 18 to 24 months from start to finish. And, and what was the biggest surprise that you guys learned in putting? Because this is the first app you created. About how long it took is probably the biggest surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know, it is live and it is looking good. Um, it's a very pretty app. So there you go. Again, it is in the sack, right? That's right. And it is free 99. It is available for uh, iTunes. How about for um, Android? Yep, it's yep. available on Android as well. You might have to scroll down a bit because okay. we just got that added, but okay. uh, it's up there. All right, fantastic. There you go. If you're looking for something to do this weekend or really any day of the week, it is all uh, in there for you. Very easy to do, very user friendly, and those are the best kind. All yep. right, that's your app of the week for this week. Thank you so much, you two. Congratulations on the new app. Yeah. Back over to you. Congratulations indeed. Nice job. All right. Hey, we want to uh, see your screensaver.